Hi guys, and welcome back to My Whatever. And in case you're new here, my name's Lady, and this is My Whatever, the place where I do whatever I feel like. And today, I'm going to tell you a few fun facts, because I really like telling my friends fun facts, so I'm going to give you some of those fun facts. A few of you may already know these, especially if you are one of the people that do, in fact, work with me and were at work with me last weekend when I shared all these fun facts. And please, if you are hearing all that noise over there, my kittens are playing with my blinds. I cannot keep them out of my window. So, without further ado, I have compiled a list for you of things that some of them I already knew and some of these I just learned myself and I thought they were kind of cool and interesting and I wanted to share them with you. So, fun fact number one, did you know that most calico cats are female? Yes, those cute little kitty cats who look kind of like candy corn are most likely female. The orange, black, and white cats because it it's just the thing with their genetics because they get, what is it, the females have XX chromosomes and males have XY and they have, in order to be calico, they have to have XX, which makes them female. Unless they are one of those rare kitties who have, you know, an extra chromosome. So if they have X, X, and Y, they're male, but they could be calico. So that's a fun fact. There's a whole lot if you want to do a research on that about um, studies that they've done showing the behaviors and the way other cats treat them if they are in fact a male calico. But it is very, very rare. And like I said, the, the facts that I found were rather interesting. So if you do want to dig a little further into it, you may go ahead. Most calico cats are female. That is fact number one. Fact number two. Did you know that lie that we are all told in elementary school that I before E except after C? You know that lie? Because it's a lie. Only in the English language, only 44 words actually follow that rule. There are in fact 923 words in the English language that break that rule. Because they always said, well, we had the rhyme go, I before E except after C or when sounds like an A is a neighbor or way. Well, that is also the same as in, um, if it makes an E sound as in leisure, or if it is a proper name as in Keith, or if it is um, part of the, if it is an element as in caffeine, <laughs> or if it is follow, part of and following uh, the, oh, what do you call it? There's a word for it. When it's at the beginning of a word, like re or d. Is it a prefix? I don't think that's the word I'm looking for. That's not the word I'm looking for. Is it? I don't know. But if it is part of re or d, as in um, reinstall. Is that a word? <laughs> Reinstitutionalize. Things like that. Um, so I thought that was interesting. Fact number three. Did you know that Edgar Allan Poe was not only an author of detective fiction, he was the inventor of detective fiction. He was the first author to write in that genre. The first one so he opened up that entire genre for authors that have come after him to use. So that's fun fact. Fun fact number four. Did you know dolphins have no sense of smell? I thought that was very interesting. I did read that they have very um, sensitive sense of touch. But they can't smell. What is it? They have, they lack an olfactory nerve and lobes. I don't know what your olfactory nerve is, but apparently it has something to do with um, your smelling. So, <laughs> so, 
So yeah, because they lack whatever that is, they can't smell. I mean, I don't know what you would really smell underwater because anytime I've gone underwater, it smelled kind of funky. So they might be, you know, they might actually be the lucky fish. A dolphin's a fish. A dolphin's a fish. Yeah. <laughs> Fun fact number five. Will you two stop trying to kill each other? I'm trying to record a video. Thank you. Kittens, I tell you. Fun fact number five. This fun fact, I actually asked my friends at work if they knew the answer, and it's really funny because a few of them did not, but one of them got it right, and it was just a complete guess. She had no idea. She just shouted it out, and she was right. And I was like, oh, how do you know? And she's like, I didn't. So anyway, it didn't go quite like that, but yeah. So I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to ask you, do you know what the first product Do you know what the first product was to have a scannable UPC barcode? If you don't know what that is, this, that is not clear. But anyway, this thing right here that goes on the product for them to, for, you know, them to scan it at the store and tell you how much it is. One of those. Do you know what the first product was? I'll give you a few seconds. Did you guess it? The very first product was a 10 pack of Wrigley's Juicy Fruit Gum. And it was scanned in 1974. Yes, I asked my friend that and she goes, I don't know, a pack of gum? And yes, it was. Now she didn't get that it was Wrigley's Juicy Fruit, but she got gum, and that was, that was impressive. Next question. This is, these aren't questions. These are facts, and I don't know what number I'm on anymore because I didn't number them. So next fact. Did you know that the average color of the universe is beige? Yep. That's a thing that scientists figured out for us. They took the colors of the universe, and they figured when they smeared it all out into one color, you come up with beige. I don't really know what smearing them all out means, but that's what, that's what the internet said. So, now you know. So when you're looking and watching movies, and you see all those pretty colors in space, like the blues and the purples and things, the average color is beige. Who do knew? Next fun fact. When people say, give me just a moment, give me just a moment, that saying that people say, I always thought that just a moment was a minute, and obviously it's not taking literal because sometimes people say, just a sec, and then you go, it's been more than a second, time's up. So anyway, I always figured that, say, a moment was just a figure of speech that may mean a minute. Actually, a moment in time is measured as 1.5 minutes. Yep, there's something you didn't know. Next. Ooh, here's a fun one. Now, this has not actually been clocked in, or at least not anywhere that I could find, but did you know that for short periods of time, so like quick bursts of energy, um, a cow can run an estimated 15 to 20 miles per hour. Yep, they can't do it for long, but they can do it for a second. Next fun fact, this one you might know part of. Okay, the animal with the longest gestation period meaning uh, they get pregnant and they are pregnant for a long time before having the baby, if you didn't know what that word was. So the animal with the longest gestation period is the Indian elephant. Now, most people know that it is an elephant, but did, but did you know it was an Indian elephant? And they are pregnant for about 22 months. 
That is only part of my fun fact. Because the majority of the population, I think, actually knows that. But, what you probably didn't know is what animal has the shortest gestation period? The answer to that is, clocking in at a mere 12 days is the Virginian opossum. I don't know how anything forms that fast. Nope. I don't have the slightest idea. Next, and my last one for today, is the first hamburger. Those delicious hamburgers that I love so much. I also love pizza, but that's irrelevant. The first hamburger ever to be served was served in Hamburg, Germany, thus the name hamburger, in 1891. And it was served with a fried egg between two toasted buns. Also, it was the um, favorite amongst sailors. So, the creator of the hamburger, I do not remember his name, I did not write that down, often, not often, he mostly sold it to groups of sailors who would come in off the seas. So, oh, oh, I have one more. I have one more fact for you. Okay. I can't really um, say this fact, but anyway, did you know that the longest word in the English dictionary is 45 letters long? And it is the term for a lung disease caused by breathing in particles of volcanic dust. It's a very long word. I will insert it here. Did you read that? It can also be spelled this way. Now, since you didn't get to see that very, you know, together. <laughs> the difference in the two words is that there is, what is it? See, towards the end, there is a, where there is a K in the one spelling, it is a C in the other. Out of 45 words, only one letter is different between the two different spellings. Yep, you tried to say that. You know what, just for fun, maybe I'll try to say it. Nemodal Tramicroscopic Lecoval Kenosis. Yep, that's what it is. That's how you say that. <laughs> okay, so now after I've done that, I guess uh, I'm going to wrap this up. I really like telling fun facts. I think I might do more. Yep, I think I'm going to do a few more of these because this is entertaining to me. And I hope it was entertaining to you. I hope you learned something new today. And with that, I'm going to go because you can see... Christmas is coming, and I have gifts to go wrap, so I'm gonna go wrap those. So, until uh, next time, as usual, click the like if you liked it, comment if you feel like, subscribe if you want, because I would really appreciate it, and please, share with all your friends. Maybe they'll learn something. And I will see you next time. Bye-bye!